Yeah, so as you can see, and sorry, it's a little bit loud, so I apologize, but it is starting right now. You can see um, it, it is kicking off right now, it looks like. And um, guys, as I mentioned, we've been here. We got the call overnight, and we've been here just before 2 a.m. And, and before all this, dozens of officers, as you can imagine, I would say more than 100 here, obviously paying their respects and, and supporting one another. Um, but yeah, we did get the word that this was this is going to start around four so it's it's about 4 14 and it looks like things are are just now kicking off and and you can also see um just people on the side of the road as this procession is is starting so um yeah it looks like it actually is starting right now so again um not seeing a whole lot of I'm, actually you know what i'm seeing a, one person in the community coming up and just um paying her respects it looks like as well um just a couple of people, you know, it is early, but you know, um, for those that live in the area, probably hearing this all go down right now, and they're just coming to the side, the sidewalk, paying their respects. Again, we've been here pretty much all night um, covering this devastating news with the police department, but yeah, all you can see, Paige, is just nothing but sadness and heartbreak and a lot of grief and, and um, you know, this is like nothing you wanna hear you know um it's the last thing you want to hear they all view each other as you know brother and sisters that here at the not just the dallas police department but just the the community as well like i said we've seen the dallas fire uh fire crews here paying their respects fort worth police department as well different agencies here um paying their respects after one officer was shot and killed um so yeah that's what, what we're seeing now this is obviously kicking off you see multiple cars coming through and um, they're making sure also, I do see like one person trying to get through, but they're directing traffic to make sure no one else gets through. I see someone um, kind of parked by, you probably didn't see, don't see them on your screen, but I do see someone that probably didn't know that this was happening, but they just stopped their car, turn off their lights and they're paying their respects, rolling down their window as this procession is going through. Paige. Yeah, it's it's um you know it's it's hard not to get choked up right now. Um, I'm I'm like not in front of the camera, but I am holding back tears because this it's this is not you know I love what I do, but this is this is probably the worst part of the job is having to do something like this. And I you know I also do want to mention Paige that I just uh, witnessed a couple nurses. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. A couple nurses step out embracing each other as well. Um. It's, it's hard, yeah, and it's, it's, and it's not just, you know, me. I, I was talking to a fellow colleague, another reporter, um, and, you know, it's a holiday weekend where everyone's supposed to be relaxing and, and enjoying time with their family, and unfortunately, you know, th th this family, they have to, you know, they lost someone. They lost a loved one, and um, for me, you know, it doesn't get any better. It's, you know, I, I always say I have the best job in the world, but this is, this is hard to witness and I just wit like I said I just witnessed some people in the medical team at the hospital just come out pay their respects but I saw a couple women um get emotional as well so um yeah for me you just I just have to kind of take a moment myself because and you know, I've been doing this for eight years now I've been at Fox 4 for two years a couple weeks ago and um it's doesn't get any easier it doesn't it's hard and um yeah
of course.